Hello YouTube, hello Electric Riders, Lexi here. And today, I told you, I told you, we do some changes on my channel, of course. Don't freak out. We're doing special pesto today. And when you taste that, you have, you have that feeling for, yeah, whatever. Before I talk too much bullshit, let's go into it. So first up, we need around 200 grams, a little bit more. Depends on how hungry you are. Tagliatelle, Ita Italian tagliatelle, very well done. This is you can you can choose whatever you want, no big deal. And yeah, fill a pan of water and add some. We're adding some oil. This is special oil from Marina um, Extra Vergine. <laughs> However, you want to know. So just the detail. And here we're adding some salt. Just a little bit. Whatever. Let's go with it. So just wash all those basilicum leaves. I take about 25 to 50 grams, depends how much is available. And wow, they so. Yeah, before Italian people will unsub my channel because they're saying, hey, this is not a real Italian cooking because Italian, real Italian cooking is about the colors red, white, and green. And this, yeah, special pesto is not. Don't kill me for that. <laughs> yeah, whatever. I don't. This is, this is the version I do, special pesto, and it will be so delicious. Tell you, you will freak out. Follow those steps. Don't, don't improvise, don't do your own kitchen uh, <laughs> magic. Follow exactly these steps and this will be a blast. After we washed those uh, basilicum leaves, uh, we just preparing garlic with a knife. And yeah, let's just peel that off. You don't have to cut it um, really uh, good. And yeah, you will say, you will say yeah, I cooking I, I i go to mcdonald's or fast food whatever bullshit i tell you real cooking real chef cooking it's so super simple it's everyone can do this it's so easy way because good cooking is not complicated good cooking is pretty simple all this um cheese here we add this is um grana patano about 80 gram um it's very dry so at the end we have to add water anyways but yeah adding some 80 grams of grana padano to your pesto and about yeah see one one or two spoon of uh, pine nuts so this this is all about and then on top we adding some oil Original Italian oil um, extra vergine. <laughs> as, as soon as it starts to cook, or maybe you can add it to the, to the uh, boiled water. Cinque minuti. You have to test or taste it how it is. It, it needs has some bite, you know. Don't don't cook it until it. You have this McDonald's feeling, soft and. <laughs> original Italian, they do it al dente. That means it has a little bit bite. You know, it has some punch, you know, it's, it's, it's all about, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, on, on top, we're adding some spice, a little bit pepper, um, to our special pesto. So, back. Ah, let's do some messy cooking here. So, <laughs> let's back to the topic. As soon, all ingredients are in, so we can start mixing. So you see, it's very, very dry. You can't, you can't um, mix it like that. Um, so add a little bit water, just a little bit, not too much, and try it again. So, by the way, make sure everything is uh, coming out of the, of your mixer. Um, well, and don't. Yeah, not to waste any pesto in your dishwasher. So, and special tips, a special tip for all those chefs who think they know what's best. 
I tell you, don't add any salt to it. Because the tagliatelle already contains salt in the water, I add three spoons of salt. The cheese also contains a lot of salt, so don't add salt to it, you will kill the entire... Yeah, forget it. See it? Why so much talking? It's almost overdone. Where do you have to rush? No more cooking photos. Just a shot cold water as you saw, bam, and tell you just will blast anything away. So, bam. And now, so pasta is done, ready to go. <laughs> Do you think we're done? Hell no, we're just warming up. Consider subscribe and enjoy the show.
Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, music! Absolutely cool. Hey. <laughs> Shall we stay here a little bit? A little bit? 